Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. The official trailer for the 25th James Bond movie, No Time to Die, was released this morning, and I have to say, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I wasn't a huge fan of Spectre, but I thought it was decent, and I'm definitely up for another Daniel Craig Bond movie. I really like the Bond franchise, so I'm happy it's been going for almost 60 years now. In fact, starting in January, I'm going to be launching a Bond video series reviewing every Bond movie leading up to the release of No Time to Die, so be sure to check back next month if you'd like to see my thoughts on the older Bond films. But right now, I've got the trailer for No Time to Die queued up, so let's check it out. faster than we can respond. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. The world's moved on, Commander There it is. Bond. You were double O. Two years. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. I thought you two would get along. Name? Bond. James Bond. <laughs> so you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. He's the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose... ...control. Everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of him. What is it? You don't know what this is. James Bond. License to kill. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History isn't kind to men who play God. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm liking that one a little bit more than I liked uh, Spectre's trailer. Uh, so I have high hopes for this, that it's going to be a little bit better than Spectre. Um, I think this takes a, a really unique approach for a Bond film. Uh, we've never seen a, a story quite like this where Bond's been kind of like out of the game, right? He's not, he's no longer part of Her Majesty's Secret Service. And so his number has been reassigned. Uh, he's, he's no longer 007. Uh, so I think that's gonna present kind of, or kind of introduce an interesting dynamic there between his character and the, the new 007. Uh, I think it's gonna be kind of funny, but there's gonna be uh, quite a bit of tension as well. Uh, I imagine he'll he'll get 007 back by the end of uh, the movie, but who knows? Maybe uh, maybe this is gonna lead to some I don't know some changes or something moving forward. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be Daniel Craig's last Bond movie or not. Uh, he you know it, there's rumors every single time a new one comes out that that was his last one. He's not gonna be back, and then he's come back a bunch of times. So. Um, We'll see if this is actually his last one or if he has uh, plans to do more of them. I'd be up for more Daniel Craig movies, um, but I'd also be okay with a new Bond um, as well. So uh, in terms of the um, this trailer though, the, the action looks great. Uh, all of these Daniel Craig uh, movies have had um, 
quite a bit of action to them, uh, and this doesn't seem like it's going to disappoint. Uh, there's the clip of him jumping off the bridge, which looks pretty good, the motorcycle chase, um, and then the, uh, the, the machine gun headlights. <laughs> that was pretty great. Um, so I think that uh, is, is really uh, going to be a, a positive aspect of this movie. Um, see a bunch of familiar faces there. Obviously, we've got Bond, but we've got uh, M, we've got Q, we got a little bit of money penny there when he's, um, you know, uh, meeting with Q again after Q thinks he's dead. Um, we've got Blofeld again, and then Rami Malek's character finally makes an appearance, and he looks pretty, pretty menacing. We'll see. Uh, he's kind of got the Phantom of the Opera kind of thing going on, but um, I think that'll be uh, an interesting uh, new villain to introduce to Bond. I think hopefully it'll be kind of a, um, a good nemesis for him. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I really got a kick out of when um, Rami Malek's character says James Bond licensed to kill. I know they say that phrase in, in the movies uh, a handful of times, but it's always funny to me when, when they say the name of a, a Bond movie in another Bond movie. Uh, I, you know, for the 25th movie, right, maybe they should try, try to work in all of the, uh, all of the titles into the dialogue. I think some would be a little, um, little harder than others. I can't think of a circumstance where Octopussy would come up in normal conversation, but, um, maybe they'll try it. Um, but I, I'm really looking forward to this. I think this looks good, uh, and I can't wait for April. So those are my thoughts on the trailer, but what did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to come back in January as I start my James Bond review series. Uh, I'm going to be uh, revisiting all of the James Bond movies leading up to the release of No Time to Die. Alright, so if you get some enjoyment or insight out of this reaction, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe or add it to see more videos like this, as well as movie reviews. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies. The way life should be.